Alright guys, guess what? This is my second time doing this. Why? Because... It's... I just really hate how Hypercam works sometimes, because... I was thinking, after just finishing it, okay, I'll try and make sure that I go to the... My second save state to save. But, sure enough, as soon... As soon as I try and do that, I accidentally press F2, and F2 on the Hypercam default setting means stop recording, start recording, stop recording. And I was like, wait, why is it not working? Sure enough, since the name file was still the same, I lost all of what I just did. So now, so now I'm having to redo pretty much everything, and I got pretty dang far into the game, and yeah, he oversleeps, he needs to go to his thing, he for some reason checks everything. And the subhead doesn't have an alarm function. I talked about here how I have an iHome, which has an alarm function on that allows you to play music on, from your iTouch, which is why I got it in the first place. Because I need a stereo system of some kind, and why not have it be my alarm clock as well? Because, you know, his pet thing doesn't have an alarm function right now. And so... Yeah, I'm pretty dang mad right now because I got pretty far in the game. I had some pretty good reactions. I was figuring out stuff. It was nice. And, and then it just ruin it just gets ruins. And this cutscene isn't much. You're just going to the zoo. Well, you're going to Yoka, but that place has a zoo. And I was talking about here how adults seem to have a thing towards making you look good because well, some kids can act pretty dumb sometimes, so you could get a bad rep, but, eh, I didn't, it's not like my, my, uh, field trip to DC was bad because everyone acted bad. Everyone acted fine, which is odd because most people at my school usually act bad. And, you know, it was all good stuff, but it, I'm just getting so many problems because first it was the, like, problems of actually getting the game to, you know, like, play the sound right, because it was getting all messed up, and yeah, the zoo's closed for today, so today's just a free day, pretty awesome, like a multiple day field trip, this might be their, like, DC trip, but who knows, and now I'm having problems with losing all the content I just did, and this one talks country. I'm just resting my bones, and then she talks normal. I also noticed here how there's such a crappy transition screen because that like first half is the first half is the last half of here, so it's kind of a bad transition screen. Talked here about how I've actually have tried cardboarding down hills. It's kind of it's fun if it's grassy enough. You can't jack in here because you can't because you're a sub pit. You're in. Um, Japanese culture, because if I remember correctly, Japanese people have usually take off their shoes before entering a building, and then put on these, put on slippers that are usually available at the front door, and go in here, you won't really notice much, I mean, just a bunch of talking, you notice there is this fence back here, which is interesting, and nothing over here, well, maybe there is, and I'll check some. I'll check real quick. Nope. And yeah, and it's bad because like this is a blind run, being that the whole essence of the blind run is that you know I don't really ex because you know I don't I'm not really expecting any of this stuff. I think I remember how to make the plot move along. You just gotta like press A near the fence so that you can examine it. Who? I do wonder where it goes. I do unfortunately now because, yeah, for bath time, I was like, what? What's bath time? I don't know how that fits in. I got like how Lane here is like... First off, he says some pretty filthy looking water. And, you know, Lane, Meg Man is like, oh, this feels great. But wait a second, you're on the bathtub. I just like how he has the PET with him. So yeah, if the whole essence of a bl blind run is that I don't know what's coming up next, which I actually did for once, after a delicious and filling meal, pillow fights, with only the girls wearing different clothing, 
and the eyes being like boring as usual. Boring brat. Anyway. And so the pillow fight goes on for a while after they slowly disappear. And yeah, if I know what's coming up next due to failed recordings, then to be honest, I might as well drop this because if I'm going to have all these problems all the time, then uh, it's not going to be fun. It's just going to get more annoying each time it happens. Hopefully, I shouldn't, though. And yeah, now we get our update, and our Navi is somehow turning blue. And we also got some mail. Don't know why I go from the bottom up. And this guy's saying, yay, you got the Navi customizer. And I was like, oh, sweet, I got to... I gotta figure out how it works. I know how it works now. You all—you also get an extra folder. And now, it's a practice thing. And basically the way it works is that you load the things in to the memory map that you have. You gotta put the, like, command, you gotta put like important programs on the command line like this then you'll notice the attack one is like made up of small squares which means that it's a plus program and you sh you can put it on the command line and you can't have any program of the same color being next to each other and that's pretty much it pretty simple after that and after that you can you can put it there, and if you have problems, you can... And if it doesn't work, then you'll get a bug, and bugs aren't good, from what I can remember. So, yeah, you can add more programs. And just remember the three things, and you can only use programs of the color. So, yeah, I remember everything, and I was like, oh, cool, this will be fun. Nope. Now it's time to meet up with the others, and I was wondering, well, what do you do now? And this, And your dad just gives you another complete list of all this stuff which can be helpful for later but eh, I already got it now so yeah hopefully I'm not gonna have any more problems because I really don't like having to redo this also because now I know what to do you can net about with this girl who is the owner of Metal Mailman and he has an interesting pattern I mean not something I'd expect from a guy named Metal Man because he throws that boomerang thing and that's about all that's really special about him. Other than that he just sends like giant um well other than that he just sends missiles which really isn't that bad. At least he's better than Toad Man was. My goodness Toad Man V3 in the second game was so bad and I was actually had a very close battle with him because I was sucking for unknown reasons. But now I know his pattern, unfortunately. Uh, like I said, how can I do a blind run? I mean, this is fine for any other game, but a blind run, not so much. I mean, I know I'm not the only person in the world that's had this problem, but seriously, why does that have to happen to me? And I only dodged that attack because I got lucky. I need to make sure he gets close enough that I can hit him like this. I did a lot of damage. Dang. Let's finish it off with the cannon. Ah, oh, dang it, I forgot. So yeah, the Navi Customizer has given us increased power as well as increased speed with our buster. As well as not ever being able to die. And I did a lot better than I did with the first time, which is, again, pretty sad because... Well, yeah. And so I'm getting rid of something I don't need, which is, in this case, the panel thing. We're going to the zoo, in case you haven't already figured out. So, let's go and stuff. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to say about today, um, like after we go to the zoo, because it's a lot of boring exploring. Um, that was a very bad pun. That I, well, not really a pun, I just like somewhat alliterized there. And I still don't get what it is is with all the elementary school kids, which I f found out Japan has up to six, like America used to be. So yeah, checking the animals, you have to do that, because he says, look at all the animals. And yeah, interesting thing, um, a friend of mine who 
really likes Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door for some reason, which I do have. I was like, t I'll just like talking to him and, oh, interesting thing here, you can get a repair asterisk chip, which is pretty helpful, seeing as, like, you know, that's actually a pretty good chip. Something I even kept in my final for folder in Battle Number 2. Um, yeah, he really wanted Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. He said he's been waiting, he's been wanting it for a while. And Koala, which they probably sent away because he probably died. He didn't just get sent back home, but who knows. And, yeah, and he actually likes Battle Network a lot. He, he actually all, pretty much got into it in random bathroom humor. Because he's like, oh dude, these are good games. Try it. So I did, and as you can see, I ended up liking him. Panda, it's so cute. All does is scratches its back, though. It's better than snoozing. And so, he's like, dude, can you give me the game? I'm like, eh, I don't know. I wouldn't just want to give away the game. He's like, I give Battle Break 5, and after a lot of back and forths of me being, like, you know, hesitant to do it, he's looking at me in rage. Anyway. Um, he eventually does it. I forget to bring it to him the next day. But he does bring his Battle Network 5, Team Colonel Edition, in case you're wondering. So I now, I now actually am temporary only 5, when I haven't even finished playing through 3. So, interesting how that works out. Where is everyone? And eventually, there they are. Just Yai and... Meilu first, so you're wondering, oh, this surely has nothing to do with Dex and Chisau. Yeah, and there's no monkeys here, how could they? And yes, they have, they are acting crazy here, and Netfrika. Okay, I just realized, that's a very bad hunt for Africa. Why? Why did, why Capcom do you do this? And, yeah, the lion is kind of yelling at us, well, growling at us. And Yai is trying to act calm. She's actually even funnier about that in the second game, but, you know, this is the third game. And I don't like the looks of this, too. And out of nowhere... Bam! It's Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Except it's probably better than The Birds. I don't know. And yeah. Turns out Chisau has been bird-napped. And lines out of the cage. That's very scary. And so they're trying to find Chisau. No one ever really says anything. You, you just notice that, oh hey, almost every exit is, pretty much every exit is blocked, right? Nope, turns out you can go like this. Interesting how they wanted to give you a 360 view of the panda that's just scratching its back, but nothing else. Yeah, all the animals have escape head, giraffe, and you still need to try and figure out a way to get out because, sure enough, the condor flew this way. So, I, so I'm thinking to myself, how do I do this? And I'm like, oh wait, I can go through here. And I'm like, oh yay, it's the fence. Yay. Good level design. But that wasn't my first time that time. So yeah, you go through the hotel and one last surprise thing. What is this? Oh, that's just wrong. Why are you sniffing then if it smells too much? You gotta sneak past this snake by running past it. All the people here are freaking out. Flamingos that are acting peacefully. Subject guy's still there. Metro lines are blocked because they're too busy. Big, we're on the cop. And look up there on the tower. You can only guess. Yep, it's, con it's the condor and cheese out just hanging out, you know. Just relaxing on a giant electrical tower. And dive bombing. Yep. That was kind of scary. And, you know, Dex is kind of mad because he has a lack of hair. No, not really. And she sells up there. And now he's looking up. And now he's all scared and crying and stuff. Poor kid. And so... She explains the plot. 
the zookeeper, is controlling the animals from the office with the chips because, you know, everything has to be electronic in some way, shape, or form because they totally don't expect viruses. And he's using the chips inside them for health reasons to control them. And that is freaking sick. The only way we can save Chisau is by going on the internet because, well, a network at, a network at the bare minimum. Because, I mean, the internet area is pretty dang big. So, yeah, you just gotta go to this little panda thing. And, and since I did this a lot quicker, I ended off the last video here, but it took like 30 minutes. So I might as well show a little bit. So, yeah, this is actually blind. Hopefully. Hi. It's a cat program. Yay, I like cats. I just noticed a large amount of pandas. Interesting. Blue mystery data. Ooh. Oh, dang. Get on. That's a good chip. And actually, I could use that. Let me see. Because, I mean, I have a repair chip that can be used with anything, so it's not like it would be disastrous. Okay, so the get on chips. And what kind of enemies do we have here? Spikies. I have both Guts Man's chips. That's incredible. I'll start with version 1 for no reason. And need to make sure that there's enough area area for me to use B2, and I totally screwed that up. Perfect. Need to make sure this guy doesn't attack, even though he does momentarily pause, and he's so nerfed anyway that his attacks are easy to dodge, unlike the last game. So yeah, I like the design of this level. It's not bad, although I think they it could have been a what the heck a metar. That's not a mouse! That's a Metar! Okay, so a mouse. Wait, is that the, isn't that the theme of this level? Oh, that's the theme of this level. Um, you have to get the programs out of the way by, like, bringing stuff it hates in the real world. That's what the Cat's Eye program was there for. I'll probably end off after getting past the mouse. Because, I mean, that's actually pretty interesting. I didn't expect that. And since those things are fire-based, they do devil damage to water. And we get their heat chip. Cool. I like their heat chip. It's not the best thing in the world, but it is something. So let's go over here and get some more blue mystery data, because I love to use my blue mystery data. And let's see. If we need the cat program, which was right in our way. And lots of metars. Lots of metars. Coffee damage. There. Yes, I'm getting hit on purpose. And now, he's down. Okay, then that wasn't too bad. I did get some more bug frags because, yeah, like I already don't have enough of those. Let's take the cat program with us. That's actually a kind of cool feature. I never knew something could follow you in the, like, overworld. It, it ate it. My goodness. And... Alright, I'll just end off here. Hopefully not messing up the recording. So I'll see y'all next time for more shenanigans.